Hey guys, this is Ultimate Link from my YouTube channel. Welcome to the stream for all those who join me and for all those who watch the video. I hope you guys enjoy the content. Now, if you're unaware of this game, this game is called Battleborn. It says it right, right there. Right on the top screen there. This is a first person shooter. Um, MOBA. Kind of game. Uh, it does have its own story mode to it as well, which is different from the online uh, bots or PvP. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty cool game. You obviously have your lanes and you got to run your bots through, and obviously you got to defeat the other team. The other team's doing the same thing. So if you're not unaware of that, that's kind of what it is. It's kind of like a MOBA. Um, first person. It is done by the guys who have made. Uh, well, it was Gearbox guys, so it's the guys that have done the series of um, Borderlands, if you were unaware of that. So that's this, done by those guys. But this game came out just before Overwatch did, and obviously Overwatch became what it is today, and it kind of shunted this game out, uh, which is a bit of a shame, because this game is really fucking good. Um, I've not played this game in a while, so I'll just do, see if I can get 5v5. It does take a long time uh, to get a matches, I think, because there's not many people that play it. Um, but I think the the people that do kind of play this are like literally like gods at this game. You know what I mean? Like these fucking this is all they play. I think it's probably like there's about five people, uh, not five people, uh, but five thousand people in the community that play this game religiously. So um, see if I can match up with them. I doubt I'll get matched up with anyone in any. Good timing. But I'll be I'll be very surprised if I do. But if that's the case, then I'll probably just do a bot match, I guess, and sort of show you what the game's all about. If you're unaware of the game, but whoever's in the stream, thank you for jumping in. Say hi in the chat. Leave a like if you haven't done so. Be nice. So yeah, say hi in the chat and know who you are. Let's see if we can get a game. It's gonna take a while. Say fucking back. Say. Playing fucking Predator Hunting Grounds again. Ain't getting the game for fucking 20 minutes. <laughs> Tell you what, let's uh, cancel this. Leave matchmaking. And then we'll go to Bot Battle. No, I want Bot Battle. Yes, Bot Battle. There we go. Bot Battle might get. Might be quicker, you know. Teammates versus AI. It's just to sort of. Way time long. <laughs> I think the other one was long as well. But yeah, I think this game has kind of died in you know all the respects of the, the amount of people that play this game. It's such a rare game. Um, it's a good gem of a game too, um, which is a bit of a shame because uh, this game is so much fun. Great, great game. Different types of characters. You, know, you can play healers, DPS, tanks, uh, stuff like that. So I'll show you actually if I can find. Is it commander going? So I'm still obviously search for team which is cool. So let's go in here. I'll show you the characters. So here you go. This, this is the whole character roster here. Galilee is one of my favourites. Um, I've got her 15 out of 20. 15 was the max, uh, but they boosted up to 20. So Galilee, she's melee, DPS. She's fucking awesome. She's I love that costume. I've got her. She's awesome. Um, there's Miko. He's my second main. He's a healer. Or it's a healer because uh, it keeps saying wee. So I'll show you one there. Types of things. It's perfect. Okay. So it's combat healer, and they're easy to use. Really good, really OP uh, type character. Really great for like healing the tanks. You know. So if you got a tank character and Miko's behind it, it's fucking you, you ain't killing it. Unless unless you got a good, you know, unless you got a shit Miko, then you know the tank gets fucking murdered. But if you got a good Miko, then yeah. Uh, Alani's kind of like another healer. She's sort of like a healer controller. Uh, she's very complex. She's actually really good. Uh, she was actually broken when she first came into the game. Um, she was so fucking broken, so OP, and she was awesome. And then they nerfed the fuck out of her and made her shit. And then you got uh, Calderas, he's one of my other favourite uh, DPS mains. He's a DPS main of mine, I really like playing him. Um, he's quite a cool character. So, I mean, the characters in this game are really cool, man, and I think people are just letting this game go by. You got Wrath. He's DPS, he is fucking OP if you have the right builds for him. Thorn, I got into Thorn quite a lot. She's pretty cool, very mobile. She's a sniper class. Um, she can do some fucking damage. She's really good to play. 
um, especially when she's got the high jump thing going on, she's pretty cool. You got uh, Randy, DPS, she's fucking insane. Like, sort of skirmish kind of thing, but she's definitely DPS. She is fucking. She is absolutely insane, though. Let's go back in there. Now, if you wonder what these um, Helix stuff is, these are all like different abilities you can. As you're playing the game, you level up the character in the game. So, obviously, she's max level. So, when you're actually playing an actual a match. Oh, they go up to 12 now. Oh, shit, I didn't know that. Another 12. Oh, okay. Um, so once you're playing the game, you sort of level up your thing, and you select which one you want to have. If you want to, you know, what I mean, if you want to have life steal or damage output, stuff like that. So as you're in the game, and Montana's a tank. Clearly, you can see because he's fucking massive instigator controller, but he's still a fucking tank. Kelvin, I think he's a brawler. Yeah, he's a brawler. He's still kind. He's still a class of the tank character because he's fucking annoying as fuck. El Dragon, he's melee based, so he's another skirmisher. He's very I, I don't like him, I really don't like this character. Some people can play him like gods, I cannot play this guy to save himself. Um Umbra's pretty OP, she's a healer as well. Um she can be very fucking OP if you've got a right build on her. Uh, fucking Atticus, he is a fucking monster of a tank. He is a beast. Is really fucking difficult to take down if you've got a really good build for him. Beatrix, I think she's a sniper, yeah. Um, she's annoying as fuck. Uh, if you've got a good player like her against you, then you're gonna have a hard time killing her. Always kill her first, because she does buffs and debuffs. She's fucking annoying as fuck. Uh, Benedict, anyone who plays Benedict is a fucking bitch. Um, this guy's a fucking annoying character. Anyone who plays him, just fucking. Okay. Baldor is awesome. I fucking Baldor was really broken, and they've nerfed him now. He was really fucking broken. He's a proper tank, though. He's a he's a true tank. But like, um, he was so fucking broken. <laughs> Ultra kid. I think he's a healer as well. Yeah, he's a healer. Um, class. You got Isaac. He's another tank. He's pretty cool. He's actually one of the bosses in the game. You fight against. Go, I think he's a you know, disruptor or controller. So yeah, he's kind of good if you use him pretty well. I'm I'm not really good with him. Ernest is annoying. Uh, he's really annoying character to play against, especially like grenade launcher. He's kind of gives you little buffs and stuff like that as well. Gives you buffs and stuff. Uh, no, Deandre is an assassin. She is really really good if you know how to play her. If you know how to play her, you're, you'll do well. Uh, Cleese, I think he's a shield. Yeah, he's like a support class. So he's actually pretty fucking good as well. If you've got him on your team, you're going to get... If you've got a good one, like a good player who plays him, then yeah, you'll do well on your team. Because if you're doing the right bumps. Marcus is a sniper. You can clearly tell. Sniper. Sniper class. No, this fucker. Milka, she has got to be the most annoying character in the game. She's actually the main character you play in the story mode. And she's obviously an assassin class, but she has to be the most fucking annoying fucking character in the game uh, to come to come across. You've got somebody who's on the team playing this character, you ain't killing it. It fucking, she, oh my god, she's so fucking irritating. One of the worst characters to play against. Oscar Mike, he is a DPS class. Pusher, I was just the first of his DPS. Um, he's pretty good. A lot of people tend to go him because he's easy to use, real easy, basically point and shoot, basically. Pendles is another um, assassin. If you're good with him, you'll do well. I don't really plan. Whiskey Foxtrot is another version of Oscar Mike. Toby is kind of like a shielder kind of thing. Does little bomb things and that. Has like shields and stuff, sort of pushes. Uh, Shin orcs, I think they're assassins as well. No, no, they're instigators. Okay, so they start shooting. Okay. Reyna's like a shielder. Yeah, she's a shielder. She's cool. She does a lot of debuffs. Phoebe is an assassin as well. She's difficult to use. Um, she's kind of weird, but if you're good with her, then you do well. And that's it for the characters. But my favorites are at the top, obviously. Galia, Miko. 
uh, Calderas, Alani. They're my four favourites. And also and Thorn, so five favourites. Thorn she likes to be up here. But Thorn, Calderas, Alani, Michael, uh, Miko and Galileo are my favourites. Yeah yeah. As you can see it's taken a long time to get a game. Um no. Let's do public. Uh, long time, long time. <laughs> Fuck it, let's, let's go see if we can find a match. I'm not really too bothered if uh, it takes a while. Pretty just chilling, really, today. So, I'm gonna eat my wee bits and have a cup of tea. What's up? What's that? Hello, Dr. Honor. Sorry, horror, sorry. Welcome to the stream, buddy. How is you? Never seen you in my stream before. You must be new to the channel. Welcome. Leave a like and subscribe if you wish to do so. I don't know if I'll get a game anytime soon. Because um, this game is kind of dead. But it's a great, great game. So... I'm hoping there's people to play against. Or I just changed my name, you never know. Maybe. Don't know why you want to change your name. A bit weird. What you're eating? I just finished eating Weetabix and now I'm having a cup of tea. Oh, yeah, that's a good cup of tea, too. Mm -hmm. Great cup of tea. So, what brings you to the stream, Doctor? Doc, doctor. It's going to take some time to find a game. <laughs> it's going to take a very, 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 very long time. Come on. <clears throat> it might be the wrong time of day as well, so I don't really know. I don't think there's many people in the UK that play this game at all. But I think it's mostly Americans that play this game. So I think maybe might be a bad time of day. Me even play this. It is like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 lobbies. Looks like. Uh, but no, I don't play Modern Warfare. <clears throat> but, uh. Nah, but this this game has been on the decrease, you know what I mean? Um. Which is a shame. It's a, it's a really good game. I think everybody sort of seems like Overwatch is better. <laughs> and it really isn't. Um. You know, this game's got great sort of like calm like comedy between each individual characters so if you see that a certain character or if your character sees another character they'll say something uh, quirky or something like that you know it's pretty good it's pretty cool but like in overwatch I don't know why everyone likes overwatch more than this game because I think people dislike the the graphics maybe I don't know yeah that's what it is I've never heard of this game You've never heard of this game? Oh, well, okay. It's Battleborn. I'll tell you what then, if you've never heard of it, uh, let's cancel the matchmaking. Uh, let's go back to... Story Private. And we will do it from... Yeah, fuck it, let's do it from the beginning, right? Optimal. What does that mean? 
Choose a center machine at the point. I thought we V got to the point where graphics don't matter in game. Yeah, but a lot of people prefer graphics or gameplay by the looks of it. So the guys that made this are the guys who made um, Borderlands gearbox. So you'll recognize a lot of sort of like the a lot of stuff. Up to speed, shall we? So once upon a whole hell of a long time ago, the very first civilization in all the known universe carved an idea into a stone. <laughs> and this, of course, meant it was important. Their idea was about the end. According to the stone, a time would come when everything would disappear, including the very stars themselves. A vast darkness would devour the heavens, and after years of, let's call it the longest chain of very bad days ever, only one star would remain. All those capable would travel to this last star, fleeing the darkness and death throes of a dying universe. However, this gathering would not produce unity, but war. War among beings and civilizations. And war against great foes, the Varelsi and the betrayer Rendane. But the stone also speaks of hope. Champions who arise from the ashes of conflict. Those who, well, those who want to keep the lights on. And this is where you show up. From among these heroes, you will recruit a force forged in conflict. You will direct and train them, and through you, there is hope for light. This force will be the Battle Bowl. And for you, Commander, they will fight together or they will die alone. No. <laughs> if you believe stones, that is. The intro to this game is awesome. Which brings us back to the star. So I'm going to shut now. This is awesome. Fucking love this intro. Enjoy. This is a nice story so far. Calderas.
here though Galaxies away but our fate is real close Puzzling arrangement gotta put the pieces back Double check everything it could be a trap The natural order preserved so at last or dominate the resources Feed off it Live 20,000 years and keep walking Then watch the rest seem to be clipped Technology at their fingertips Or attempt to escape red tape Stick your nose in everybody's debates Join the force and everybody's afraid No need to be, you're welcome to join them Follow the rules and regulations employ them Well, that was the intro to the game. It's fucking awesome. <clears throat> Galt, you read me? Loud and clear, Melka. Welcome to Tempest, the heart of what's left of the Generate Imperium. Glad you could join us. Hey, I owed you one. That, and I'm never one to turn down a shot at crapping all over Rendane's plans. Where's the defector? Setting up the pyrotechnics for today's big event. We got one shot at this job, Mel. You ready? Nope. But to hell with it. Let's get it done. Upload the mission data to Melka's rig, Cleese. Already on it, Captain. Wait a minute, is that... Oh, that's Cleese, isn't it? You brought Cleese on this mission. Ah, there you are. Just follow the waypoint I've uploaded. It should lead you straight into the gaping maw of death itself. <laughs> Thrilled to see you too, Melka. So as you can see, there's a lot of comedy in this game, which I fucking love. <clears throat> so with this game obviously you have um, augments available so as you level up you get you know sort of stuff like that enemies clone and stuff enemies hit by spikes are slower for a brief time mm, let's do R2 I guess so R1's that L1's that So as you see, as she fires a gun. I am guessing you played this a lot before, huh? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. I'm playing some story mode on, uh, what you call it, Battleborn. So welcome to the stream, guys. If you haven't heard of this game before, oh, dead windy. Then it's a shame that you guys saw it as the the robot from before. It's the same guys that did the uh, Borderlands guys that made this game. Submit this game is a great game. Really great game. The game certainly um, didn't get the praise that it deserves, I think. Let's, let's jump. I think she's got a double jump. Yeah, I think she eventually gets a double jump on her abilities. As I'm gathering up the crystals, they give you perks as well, like uh, on your gear. So these shards. Pick up. I'd recommend sinking with an LLC of 
emergency transport beacon or checkpoint in dummy parlance. There's one close by. <coughs> <coughs> You can also speedrun these game, uh, these levels as well. Get her. You got taunts as well. <laughs> In an empire as vast as ours, it is easy to think of yourselves as mere cogs in a machine. But let me be the first to assure you that our great Empress has heard your cries for whatever it is you're after justice, synthesized nourishment of marginally higher quality, or more time set aside for the recreational activities that you are so fond of, such as. Uh, <laughs> These glasses suck when I try to lay sideways. <laughs> What's up then? That may help you. So we got this is a checkpoint. Okay, done that. Roger right that. Let's go. Moving on. So as you can see, Rendy's quite uh, a fucking crazy character to use. Like, she's just so OP. <clears throat> Not Rendy, fucking uh, Malcolm. She, she, she gets a grenade, but as she ejects her mag, it becomes a grenade. Fucking brutal. So here we go. Parting gift spikes the behind an area effect that covers nearby enemies and venom and additional kits and kill damage. Increases when the spike height. Give her the height advantage. So if I hit this, she gets like a big massive like escape. Thing. Yeah. Where'd you get it, Captain? It's a modded UPR machine pistol. Cleese's handiwork, actually. Yes, it's designed to work in conjunction with your horrific disfigurement. It's an Eldred bio gauntlet, Cleese. You say tomato, I say horrific disfigurement. Go on, <laughs> give it a try. <laughs> horrific disfigurement. Second act of treason for 
for the day. So with those points that I've got on the bottom left there, you see I've got the 2,000, like, 3,000, um, 2,300 shards. Yeah, I guess the comedy here is fun. Yeah, comedy is good in this game. Okay, good. So what I do is obviously you purchase bots like this. A saw drone. Let's go drone. So we can go up here, so. Ah, uh, so there you go. There's an escape thing there. Whoa. Ugh. 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 What need that? Hey, I gotta go for a quick sec. That's camera. Those credits. There's the end. Let's get you out of here, Generate. Deandy will do just fine, actually. And you, Melka? Nope, you're mistaken. My name is Pissed Off Eldred. Huh. Curiously dressed for an Eldred. Expecting some kind of space elf? An observer in the ceremonial duds? Well, gosh, I would have worn mine, but I lost them when the Generate swallowed my home star. No! <laughs> This is the bomb! Well, now I'm going to eat! 
Yeah, and your soul will be in this game. <laughs> Lots of crystals for me. Crystals! Alright, I'll see here you go, you can go into this. Depositing. There's the LZ, and that's a lot of generate. Galt, where are you guys? Getting shot at. We're coming as quick as we can. Clear the path for us. Imperium forces, cut them down. Dead. I must say, I'm disappointed. No, no, I'm pissed. We're upgrading to pissed. Do you have any idea what you have done? What you have cost us? I know precisely what I've done, Lord Commander. By the way, I'm Extra life with seven lines.
hostage part. Fuck it, whatever. Time to run.
Oh, welcome to Sim Guys, thanks for jumping in. This is obviously the prologue, I'm not sure. Bring back this game, this game's awesome. I say we airlock her. I'm with him. The Andes are only hope of a shot at Rinde. And we only get that shot when he makes his play at the star. And until then, what's our plan? I mean, if we have a plan. We're gonna bust up the Imperium's operations around Solus. Buy ourselves as much time as we can, and rally support from the factions. Fortunately for us, they need all the help they can get. Blowing stuff up's working out good so far. I was thinking we'd do more of that. While we're in danger repairing the Heliophage, we'll help the other factions get back on their feet. We'll need them all behind us if we're gonna pull this off. The UPR's been taking heavy losses trying to reclaim their old settlements on Bliss. Admiral Bannon put out a call for assistance. We could start there. Word from the observatory is that Ekinar's crawling with generate harvest crews. We could disrupt their energy supply lines if we hit them hard. Tempest is more vulnerable than even Rindane realizes. It'll be dangerous, but they probably won't see us coming. So, we're not airlocking anybody? <laughs> Shut up, Cleese. <laughs> this is our last chance to save Solus. We must not fail. We won't. <laughs> we might. Oh my God! <laughs> shut up, please. <laughs> you gotta love a bit of Cleese. Yeah, I don't really play uh, Milka, as you can see. She's still at level one. I don't like playing her. So. There's all the challenges you get, you have to plan for it as well. And it was that a skin or title. So there's lots of stuff you can unlock and stuff like that. I mean, lore unlocks. So that for uh, for each character and stuff like that as well. Knowing the more you use them, etc., etc. I am liking this already. Yeah, that's the thing. It's a good game. You know what I mean? Uh, obviously, that was a prologue, um, and then obviously you go through the game for the story mode there, as you can see. So play the first actual level. Advanced, normal, advanced, let's play normal. Hardcore off. Start mission. I think that's where you can actually select your character now. Because prologue's obviously just to sort of get you used to how you play the game. You know what I mean? Which is actually one of the best levels in the game. <laughs> because obviously there's more like, comedic value, stuff like that, on that sort of prologue alone. has got a big problem. Rogue Magnus AI has seized control of one of their old bliss settlements, and they've called us to help clear it out. <laughs> nothing we can't handle. Apropos of nothing, did the UPR mention a name? Yeah, actually. Isaac. Oh, well then, <laughs> we're all going to die. <laughs> Lovely. You're all going to die. Yeah, Isaac hates Cleese. <laughs> uh, so here is the the roster of characters, guys. As you can see, so you can play through any, or you can play with anybody through the story mode. So which is really cool. So whoever you have a particular character you like to play as, you play obviously as a character. So I'm gonna show you Thorn because she's pretty cool. Let's uh, see. That's my DPS. Use this one, I think. So that's your gear stuff here as well. You can use your skins. That's her original. That's the original skin you see in the in the uh, prologue thing. But that's my favorite skin for her. The elf. Never mock the bow. Yeah, she sticks up the thing there. You never stood up. That was very cathartic. <laughs> so yeah. Everyone accounted for. Good. Let's flush that bastard Magnus out of his hole. Which, by my estimates, is somewhere inside the mining colony. Get moving. 
<laughs> Hold the finger. Right, so she's got damage, uh, uh, small tarts. Uh, I'm gonna go for air effect. Cast the distance would be a good one. So as you can see, she's got different like perks going down. Which buff up all her attacks and stuff like that as well. So I'll probably do the um, the cast distance on the next one, or I might do the uh, wait over it. the final tick from Blight deals greatly increased out. I might do the middle one actually, because it does more damage. I think. Which is nice. I think, yeah, you hit that note, I think. Yeah. Hit that way, then you go over there into the thing, and you fight another boss over that way. I've not played the story mode in a long time. <laughs> so that's, that's Blight. And Folly is Elves. Thorn gets like a double jump as well, she's fucking, she's got a great jump, so she can jump up there just yet, I'm not strong enough, uh, or level up enough to get a double jump in there. Well, she's a good character to use.
to him back at my uh, my blast thing. <laughs> Fuck him up. So you see each character as well has like a like a list to um to do like you know kill so many people with blight or melee or whatever. Speed, hit, create, hit, speed, hit, damage, health, regeneration, per. I'm going to go with R3 first. Give me that. Can you go back up here and get that bot? Because that bot will help me out nicely. I don't have enough for it, do I? Well, I've got one thing. 500 for the assault bot. Well, okay, looks like I don't have enough uh, coinage because I used it on the uh, park. Shields, okay. Oh, missed one of those, okay. Nice. Okay. Curse has cursed title on the When Thorns Volley throws hit an enemy, they split them in two and then it's going to Okay. I think I'll fire more arrows, I think. More damage, more arrows. Makes sense, right?
Oh, that was close. Bad boys. Henchmen. <laughs> well, time to truck out the big guns. Henchmen, how about loosing your fury on these jerkwads? Shit. Hey, that guy in me, come on in. That's why I like Thorn, man. She can do some a lot of damage real quickly. collect what you see man like you know, as much as you possibly can because some of these have extra lives in them as well and you may need them sometimes I think if you get over a certain score, he can give you hell, uh, extra life as well. I'm not too sure, I can't remember. Nice. Alright, let's activate that. So, cursed is the bonus damage to cursed targets, penetrate shields, 100% shield penetration. Cursed status deals additional bleed damage to affected enemies in only seconds. Is that a triangle R2? Go R2. So, cursed is basically this hour here. Mm. That's a triangle move. <laughs> You guys, I'll get to the boss on this one. Um, well, Isaac is the boss. I'll get to him. 
uh, and then I'll close the stream down because uh, I want to get some stuff done and I'll probably stream later on. Might stream some um, predator hunting grounds, I'm not too sure yet. But uh, yeah, so just stay tuned, I guess. But death, I'll get to Isaac. <laughs> See how well I did against the sub boss by myself. This is pretty difficult. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Good friends. Green balls on the internet. Stuff. So there's any stuff in here it's hidden, can't remember if there is or not. There shouldn't be anything. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Shards, we collect them shards, people. Alright, what do you want? Let's go for a repair drone. Heal me up nicely. I do like the comedy in this game, it's really good. Bum 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 bum. Fucking hate those bombs. Somewhere, can't see them. <laughs> see, there's a red dot over here, right? Oh, oh it must be the uh, yeah, this.
Yeah, sorry for not talking too much, guys. I'm just um. Concentrating. So if you are familiar with uh, Borderlands, then, uh, you know, this is why. <laughs>
Easily done. Still two guys in here that you kill. Oh shit!
Population engaged. Now's your chance. Get moving. Isaac's signature is past that ice wall. Fire up that drill and cut a path forward. Fells on thorns is a short speed boost while touching Blight's field. Increased Blight's effectiveness duration. Oh, movement speed 30%. I'll take that because that is very handy. <coughs> I'm just going to sit up here. Ugh. And away we go.
<laughs> Fucking awesome shot from me. Thorn Munch, pretty cool. <laughs> I fucking love this game. I'm so cool. Isaac. Oh, that missed? No.
Hello. Hello. Oh fuck, run in the middle, 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 run in the middle.
Keep missing. Speed boost there. That was easy. <coughs> that was quite difficult actually using the ball to kill him.
Sorry guys, I'm just replying to a tweet. Oh hey, green flag, hey buddy. Yeah, I thought I'd just put this game on communication over there, what the hell? Okay. Don't have nah. So let's go into the command. Because I picked up a few legendary things and it's dropped a legendary for me. Which is awfully, awfully rare. So that's something for her appearance as well, apparently. Oh nice, I got the ooh lilac. So these are all her skins. So the more you like level her up, the more sort of skins you unlock as well. And there's obviously DLC skins you can purchase as well. So you know, this one's rewarded at fourteen. Look at her boobies to go look. She's got fucking dodgy dodgy boobs. <laughs> there's some dodgy boobies right there. There's the master thorn. Let's be giving you master her. So that one's obviously worth. That's obviously real money. I love gold. I did have this, but for some reason it's not seen that I have it. But you know, is what it is. There's that one. But obviously the. Uh, that's my favorite skin for her. It's badass. So these are all her taunts. So that one, as you see, it, you can't really. You know what I mean? So it's because it zooms in on the character when you're in game. So these are all the. So these ones, like, it zooms in on her while she's doing it. It's pretty funny. So as you can see, there's that. Uh, it's got gear because I did get some gear. Uh, I think my gearbox is full. Oh no, it's not okay, cool. So let's open this legendary gear pack. It contains four pieces of gear with one guaranteed legendary. Holy smokes! Whoa, nice find, Commander. So there is Helmworth. Spark shield, shield recharge per second, build will cost, attack damage, the stacks 1.82, attack damage for every two seconds you remain at full shield. Fair enough. Mm -hmm, that's pretty awesome. Uh, that can get uh, sold. That's pretty handy, that one, skill damage. Anyway, so I'll keep that. Transfer all. Oh. We got a common loot one. Let's go for this one. Yeah, sell that and sell the other one. So yeah, not bad, eh? Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. So it was a little intake, well, not taking the Battleborn. So for all those people who don't really know what it is, that's kind of what it is in story mode. Obviously, I'd like to play some. PvP, but it takes too long for PvP games because obviously the game is kind of like dead, you know. So but it's nice to see you can still play the uh, single player. Um, let's see if we can get in a public match, just random. Let's see if we can. Let's do a bot battle. Fuck it. Let's see if we can. We'll give it three minutes. You know? And if I can't get it again, then I'll just play something else and stream something else for a bit. But I think Predator Hunting Grounds is actually going to be there for maintenance soon as well. So I might not be able to play that. Oh wow, No Man's Sky is getting crossplay. And heads to Xbox Game Pass this week. Hmm. No one cares about Xbox. Last month, No Man's Sky developers Hello Games announced the Space Survival Games headed to Xbox Games Pass, getting a Windows PC version very soon. Now following this, the studio has not one but two exciting updates to share. No Man's Sky's Windows 10 and Game Pass debut is happening this week, and the game's also getting crossplay. 
<laughs> I love No Man's Sky, fucking great game. Oh, speech to text, okay, cool. How are we on searching for fucking still known? Jesus. God damn! That's what crest I've got here. Winner matches LLC Battleborn, Kevin Gates, Platinum. See, this game, like, it gives you Platinum. Like, you, you know, it takes ages to save up the Platinum, you know what I mean? But they still allow you to have the opportunity to, you know, get the Platinum, you know what I mean? Which is also real, real currency, you know what I mean? Uh, in game, which is kind of cool. Didn't know how to do that, but they did. Which was really cool. Ugh. I wonder if they're gonna come back to Battleborn or make a new one. Interesting to see what they do. Really? Wow, okay, cool. Hmm. I don't know why I'm yawning, man. I had plenty of sleep last night. Jesus Christ! <sighs> Searching for teammates there, something changed there. How's that? Let's see if we can get some people in here. Just see if I can show you the uh, the actual um, the PvP sort of side of it. I know it's against the bots, but you get, you get a gist of it, you know what I mean? So you can get the. Uh, the gist of the game itself on the uh, thing. Let's see now, come on. Come on, god damn it, come on. <sighs> oh shit, wrong button. Not bad. Go back, please. Go back, please. There we go. It looks like there's nobody on. Wow. It is a dead game, which is really unfortunate. Could be the time of day as well.
We win that. Yeah, we won that with nice. So chances of our scrap metal, kill three hundred minion enemies. This year got quite a lot of her stuff done. because uh, she's fucking awesome. Hunting down, kill five thousand battle man. It's a lot of fucking people kill. So I mean the challenges are absolutely insane. You know what I mean? Face off tank. That looks like a new map. Push and pull your way through the tunnel. Rocket and roll. This is map. Team says, oh, okay. Well, it looks like I'm not going to be able to do um, the online stuff. Then that's a bit of a shame. I really wanted to. It's a great game. But uh, thank you very much, guys, for joining me today uh, for Battleborn. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, also, leave a like as well, uh, or subscribe if you haven't done so. So, peace out, guys. Take care and stay safe. Ciao.